What's up everybody, it's Joel Lapuma. We are back with another episode of DIY Complex Closets. This time we head to Arizona to check out PGA golfer Pat Perez's extensive Jordan collection. It features a lot of rare sneakers and he also talks about golfing with the GOAT, MJ. Check it out. What's up everyone, I'm Pat Perez. I'm here at my house, I'm gonna go over my sneaker collection for Complex Closets. kid threw these away a long time ago and I got them in the trash. And this is how the whole thing started me. I knew how cool they were and how we couldn't afford them. So uh, I took them out of and put them on and I wore them until they literally just fell apart. It took me a long time before I made enough money out of college and then started making money playing golf before I could buy one. And when they showed up, I pulled them out of the box and I couldn't believe that I actually had them in my hand. I paid a fortune for them, but at that time I didn't care because I wanted that shoe again in my hand. Now I got them, and in fact, I have them in a golf shoe too. It's just so unbelievable. We were at the Jordan trip last year in Monaco, and Ashley and I uh, got to sit with MJ at the table, at the poker table. I was asking him about golf shoes that thing. We were on the Jordan 11 at that time, and I said, is there any way we can make a cement 11? Because the cement four was my was my favorite shoe. It was the first shoe I, I ever you know, got, and I was hoping to make a cement 11. And he said, well, just make the cement four. And I'm like, what does that mean exactly? And he goes, Get with G and make this Smith for a golf shoe. And it's uh, it's right here, you know. This is the end product, that whole thing of what came to be. And it's just been like a dream come true. It's been incredible. So I only wear them when the conditions are absolutely perfect. They have to be, it's got to be dead dry, no water anywhere, afternoon round, no chance of rain, no nothing, because I just don't want anything to happen to them. I, I, I travel with them. They don't sit in any locker. They don't leave my side, really, I, I, I hold on to them, you know, like I hold on to my wall. So the first time I ever hung out with MJ on the golf course, uh, the first thing, of course, I noticed I was looking for was the shoe. You know, obviously, he loves golf, he was making golf shoes at the time, he already had a couple out, but he had a low six in a golf shoe, and it was unbelievable. It was, I, I, could, I just remember looking at it going, that is something that I would kill to have. And, so we get back to the house and I go, bro, I said, those shoes are just unavailable. I said, I can't believe it. He goes, well, if they fit, take them. And me being an idiot, I didn't even think about it at the time. What do you think I said? I said, no, they don't fit. They're too big. And then I left them. And when I left the house and I thought, I could have the only six golf shoe in the world in my hand and, and I, I didn't take them. I, you know, but now I have them, so I, I feel a little better. I've got a lot of cool pairs up here, obviously, but my rarest pair here are the Mark Wahlbergs. The Wahlbergers, which are unbelievable. And Mark actually went to dinner at his house in LA, Ashley and I did, and he just signed you know, 212.19, which obviously, and he signed to my brother PP, Love and Life family, Mark Wahlberg. But the cool thing is he signed, he signed each shoe, you know, and this is, was his pair. This is a you know size 10, they don't fit me, but the fact he signed them for me and, uh, you know, I'm glad that I can't wear them anyway because I wouldn't wear them, but it's pretty cool to have this. I have this in my office and I have a showcase, and this is definitely my, my rarest pair. This is the shoe I had on in my last one in Malaysia, and I'm the only guy in the PJ Tour this year that's won twice in the Jordan shoe, so I think that's pretty cool. But I don't know how anybody can hate on these. This is such an iconic shoe. You know, you take, you, you know, you take this one in Chicago, and they made it into a golf shoe. I mean, who the hell wouldn't like that? I mean, I don't even want to know people that don't like that. So to me, that's kind of old school. Thinking it's the old school type of people. I wouldn't worry about it. Tell your boy that this is cool anywhere and anybody thinks different. Yeah, too bad for them. So after quarantine, you know, I obviously got too many choices. I don't wear a lot of them anyway, but the one I might go out with is the Zion the Body Boys uh, 34. Or I might go with the UNC3. I think these are awfully cool. You know, in summertime, the blue and the white would be pretty cool. Um, you know, like I said, there's so many choices. There's so many I haven't worn yet. You know, I've gotten a lot that I haven't been able to wear because I haven't really gone outside much. And, um, you know, the choices actually be very hard, but it'll be, you know, some Zion 34. You know, I might even just after because, you know, because MJ doing this thing, I might go back to Chicago. Uh, or even, you know, in maze. One of those two possibly.
So here we are inside the house. And this is the view is pretty good. Tennis basketball over there. But here's kind of the prize, you know, favorites that I have in my whole collection. You know, from the Travis Scotts to the Red 11, the fives. I didn't go to Michigan, but you know, they're pretty damn cool to have. Blue game, no photos, the unions. That's where it all started, the Cement 4. That's my most loved shoe, no matter what comes out. UNC, we got the ones. Fly one, got the soul flies. We got this pair is pretty cool. I'm gonna show you this one real quick because as you can see, they only made uh, 93 of these and I got number 29. I got that from the Jordan family. You know, obviously everybody saw the last dance. Uh, you know, Jordan played in a bunch of these, the six, the 14s, the uh, 12, there's the Zion. You know, we got the JT3, the Shies. Uh, I just thought these two were pretty cool, the, the Max. I think these are, I don't know, these are just pretty cool. The, the different colors and everything, I think I love those. You know, these are just kind of things I like the most. I, you know, there's a lot to choose from, but this is kind of my, my deal. So here we are in the golf collection. We've got the Oreo 6. These are pretty cool because Mike Bibby gave me these. He got, he's had these forever. And then I had Nomad Customs custom make me these. These were all white, I had them on the elephant which is pretty sick i think he did a phenomenal job this is the shoe i won my Coba, my first start you know my third start back actually from my surgery got some pretty cool 11s here so now the difference between my shoe and everybody's shoe on the planet is they don't have that bottom just for the hell but i got some some of the baseball cleats which i think are so sick if i had any baseball talent i'd actually use them so this is about the coolest thing i've seen my wife found these for me Obviously, it looks like they're floating because they are and they spin. We had to have two right now showcasing the new 11. Pretty damn cool, I think. Thanks, everybody, at Complex Closets for checking out one of my shoe rooms here. I uh, hope everybody's safe out there. We'll see you all soon.